reptile enclosure and get yourself a reptile all in for under 300 bucks. Let's talk about it. First of all, before you do anything, before you even go out and get yourself a reptile, uh, you want to make sure you have a place for it to live. And these things can cost you anywhere between five bucks uh, or zero dollars if you have a tub laying around, five bucks for a tub, or uh, it could be a custom built enclosure depending on your reptile. Now let's use a leopard gecko for a start because I think this is one of the best pet reptiles that you can possibly get. If you want to get yourself a leopard gecko, the initial cost for a setup is going to be rather cheap. A leopard gecko can probably live its entire life in a 20 gallon enclosure. So depending on how you want to do it, if you want to get a 28 quart tub, which is the equivalent of what I would keep in a rack system my leopard geckos in, it's going to cost you between five and 10 bucks. If you want to go a little bit, not fancier, but uh, more of a showpiece and you want to get a 20 gallon enclosure, that can range from $20 at an expo or secondhand Kijiji, Craigslist, whatever the case may be, all the way up to a hundred bucks if you want to get a fancy one with a latching lid or an exoterra with the double doors, zoom ed, whatever the case may be. Totally up to you. What I do for most of my reptiles is keep them in tubs, uh, but I do have a display piece, which we showed at the beginning of the episode, with my leopard geckos in it. I think I got it on, on Kijiji for 35 bucks or 40 bucks or something like that. So let's say on average, your caging cost, if you buy everything brand new, is 100 bucks. Second thing you want to worry about is heating and lighting. Now for a leopard gecko like this, you don't actually need a light source at all. They don't really need UVB light, unlike most lizards. They do need heat, however. We'll go through a complete care guide for leopard geckos another day. But if you just wanted to use a heat mat, you can do that. And to buy a heat mat, if you want to buy one used, you can. If you buy a new one for, say, a 20-gallon uh, terrarium, aquarium, whatever you want to call it, it's probably going to run you between 20 and 50 bucks. Depends on where you're at, uh, how much it costs you in your area to buy something like that. What you can do is you can get heat tape. FlexWatt heat tape, this is a six inch heat tape. Uh, I think it costs me something like six bucks a foot. If you use a foot or two, 12 bucks. And then you connect it to a thermostat, which is gonna cost you between 30 and 50 bucks. So even let's say 30 bucks plus 12, $42 for your heat source. And you'd likely never have to change it unless it goes bad. But I would definitely recommend hooking up either a heat mat or heat tape to some sort of thermostat so you don't burn your animal. The last thing you want to do is injure your animal. So let's call it, call heating uh, 45 bucks. Let's round it to 45 bucks. Next thing you want to take in consideration is how you're going to feed and water your animal. So you can do this very cheap. If you wanted to use just deli cups for your food and water, that's going to cost you to set up. If you even if you wanted to buy a sleeve of each, five bucks for a sleeve. So let's call it five bucks. If you want to go a little bit fancier, you can buy them for $20 a pop. It totally depends on if you want how fancy you want to get with it. Or what I like to do is you go to the dollar store and you buy those clay coasters for the clay pots. Uh, that way the water doesn't spill into your clay pots for your plants. And for a gecko this size for food and water, I mean really a dollar twenty-five or two dollars per. So let's say four bucks, but let's say you want to get a little bit fancier, five bucks each, let's call it ten bucks for your food and water bowls. Now if you do need lighting, you need an overhead basking spot, you can do that for pretty cheap too. While you're at the dollar store getting your clay bowls for your leopard gecko or whatever type of uh, reptile you're going to get, you can also get bulbs there too, usually a 50 watt halogen bulb. That's what I use in my homemade enclosures that I have here. Uh, and those cost me $2.50 a pop. Now if you want to go to a reptile store and you want to get something that doesn't have a UVB but is just a spotlight, those things are going to cost you probably between five and twenty dollars, depending on the wattage. So let's say ten bucks for an overhead heating source. Now, what if your reptile needs UVB lighting? You're getting a bearded dragon or a jeweled lacerta or something that needs UVB lighting. And I assume if you're watching this video, you're new to reptiles. So let's not say that you're going to get a sailfin dragon or something like that. In that case, uh, you want either a 5.0 or a 10.0. I definitely would always go with the tube lighting. They do not last quite as long, but they do seem to be far superior to the ones that you can just stick at a regular dome type lamp. Now for these, the bulb alone is gonna cost you probably 30 bucks uh, here in Canada. So let's say between 20 and 30 bucks. And let's say that you need a hood for that too, of course, right? Or a fixture for your UVB lighting. That's probably gonna cost you 20 bucks. So let's say it's $40 for UVB lighting. One thing I forgot to mention with your overhead heating you're gonna need a fixture for that too. Now a normal dome lamp, 
at a pet shop is probably going to cost you 20 bucks but you can buy them at a hardware store usually the exact same thing for between five and ten dollars so let's say overhead heating with your bulb and uh, your fixture for it let's call it 20 bucks uvb 40 bucks 60 bucks just for the lighting uh, of your animal now there's two more things that you're definitely going to need to keep your animal comfortable in its new enclosure you're going to need a substrate now this could be as cheap as zero dollars use a newspaper that shows up at your door that you just throw out anyway use paper towels that's going to cost you what a few cents to put in there or if you want to make it a little bit nicer because you went with that 20 gallon enclosure you can always go with something like an eco worth uh, or an eco worth and sand mixture no your leopard gecko is not going to get impacted if you do your job right we'll talk about that in the leopard gecko video so if you want to go with something a little bit uh, fancier more realistic like that it might cost you to set it up in the first place 20 bucks 20 bucks for your substrate it can go as low as zero something else you're going to need for your leopard gecko or whatever reptile you're going to get is a hide now sometimes you need two or three hides let's suppose that you go with two leopard gecko is the example we're going to use so you're going to need a hide on the warm side and you're going to need a hide on the cool side the cool side is likely going to be your human hide which you're going to need for your leopard gecko as well now the substrate that you're going to use in your human hide will include that in the twenty dollars for your substrate we talked about earlier each hide can be something as as simple as an overturned flower pot that you buy at the dollar store a pack of two for a dollar you can do that or a bowl that you cut out and then use a little lighter to soften the edges or you can go to a reptile shop and buy something more realistic like a rock or an overturned coconut shell and those are going to be between five and ten bucks let's call it ten bucks for the hides for your reptile so there you have it it doesn't cost a heck of a lot to get your reptile set up properly which is the most important thing now of course if you have a rack system and you see something really nice at a reptile expo that you just have to have well you have your rack system you have your tubs you have everything you need it's going to cost you zero dollars for housing but if this is going to be your first reptile you're going to need everything that we talked about and all that stuff is going to cost you i don't know forgot couldn't remember what we added up there but i'll put it in the description below what we decided the average was going to be so it doesn't cost you a heck of a lot and last week's video we talked about the upkeep of an animal which you can do for under 100 bucks for the most part i hope you enjoyed the video if there's something else that you want me to talk about go into depth about if you have any questions please do give me a, a shout in the comment section below i'm here to learn about animals and reptiles with everybody else i'm no expert just a dummy with a bunch of reptiles uh, but i really do enjoy doing these videos and learning from one another so until next week Wiccans, Wicked Reptiles, thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you next week.